Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can change the screen resolution of our Android 9 Pi virtual machine within VirtualBox. So if you're looking for how to create an Android 9 Pi virtual machine within VirtualBox, I did a video on that. So there'll be a link in the description and there'll be an iCard on the screen now. But let's get started. So make sure that your Android virtual machine is selected and press start. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the second option in this list. So debug mode, hit enter and wait for all of the scrolling text to stop scrolling. So it hasn't actually finished. Just give it a few seconds. And I think it's done now. So what you want to do is type in mount space dash O remount comma RW and slash MNT. So what we're doing is we need to make a modification to a file that is in slash MNT, but right now it's read only. So we're remounting it so that we can write to it. So hit enter and then CD into slash MNT slash grub and just type in LS. And the file that we want to edit is menu.lst. So type in vi menu.lst and we want to edit the first entry. So go down to kernel here and just make sure that the cursor is underneath the S for SRC and then press I on your keyboard to insert text. And what we're going to type in is VGA equals ask space. And that's it. Now press escape and colon. So for me, it's shift semicolon and then WQ to write and quit. And now we've finished making our edits to this file. What we can do is type in reboot dash F to force. So that's reboot space dash F and our virtual machine will reboot. So now when we select the first option, we get this text that says press enter to see video modes available. So hit enter and you can now see the video modes that are available to us. So let's pick one for this demo just so that you can see there is a quite a large visual change. So I'm going to select this one here, which is 1600 by 1200. We can scan for additional modes. So let's just type in scan. And these seem to be all of the modes that I have available to me. So I'm going to select this one here, which is 1600 by 1200 by 32. So 32 is the color depth. Now I'd recommend that you only select modes that have a color depth of 32. Otherwise your VM will just look weird. So all we need to do is enter in the mode number that's next to the resolution that we want to select. So for me, it's 347. Now this isn't a decimal number. It's actually a hex number. So what we need to do is convert that into the decimal equivalent. So I'm just going to open up my calculator and I'm just going to make sure that it's on programming mode and that this is set to hexadecimal. And I'm going to enter in that number. So what was it? It was three, four, seven, and then just press enter. And now I'm going to change the mode to decimal. So just remember this number for later on. So for me, it's eight, three, nine. Now you can do this with any of your other modes. So let's just pick one that's got a letter in it. So let's pick this one down here. So 34 C. So what you do again, hexadecimal type in three, four, C, press enter, and then flip this to decimal. So that's 844. So let's just go back to the one that I'm going to pick for this demo. So that is 347, 347, uh, hexadecimal, press enter, and then flip it to decimal. So it's 839. Just remember this number for later. We're not going to use it right now, though. So what we're going to do now is enter in three, four, seven, and press enter. And it's just jumped to my other screen. So let me just drag it back on. And you may have noticed that we've actually got these uh, scroll bars because this resolution is actually larger than my monitor's resolution, which is 1080p. So just wait for Android to boot up. 
Okay, so as you can see, this is actually much larger now. Let me just uh, embiggen it slightly. So there we go. Let's just say that this is a resolution that I'm happy with. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut down this VM, power it off. So now that we've found a resolution that we're happy with, we can actually set that resolution so that we're not asked again to make a decision over which resolution we want to pick. So remember the decimal number that we, well, remember the hex number that we converted to decimal earlier. This is what we're going to need now. So we're going to start our virtual machine up again. And we're going to go back to debug mode. Let me just make that smaller view, uh, adjust window size. And again, wait for all of this to finish. So I think that's done now. Type in mount dash O remount comma RW slash MNT. And then CD into slash MNT slash grub. So we're going to enter the menu.lst file again. So vi menu.lst. And where we have our VGA ask, VGA equals ask, sorry, we're going to change that ask to 839. So that is this number that we calculated earlier. So we're done. Press escape again and colon WQ to write and quit. Press enter and now we can reboot again. So reboot dash F, enter. And again, I sometimes get these errors. Just ignore them, close it, power the machine off and then just start it again. And we just select our first option in the list. And again, it's jumped off screen. So let me bring it back. There we go. And you can see that we have our super big resolution Android VM. So that's brought us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Goodbye.